sun's coming up, we gotta get to the pond. There she is. All right, just pulled up. Bryce is meeting me here in a minute and we're gonna try and get some top water blow ups this morning at the private pond that not many people get access to fish. About 7 a.m., sun is still on the horizon or not quite above the horizon yet, so I think we're in good shape. The water looks so calm, like this is perfect. I'm gonna tie on that buzz bait and we're gonna get some attention, I think. We got the goods. The only thing that's not tied on is what I'm gonna use first and that's the buzz bait, but we'll be fine. All these geese just landed in the pond. Stirring up my bass. Okay. Man, always tie your stuff on before you get to the ponds because you get antsy. I don't know if these geese are helping or hurting out here. Oh yeah, GoPro's good. Oh, I think we just got hit, but I didn't even look because I was trying to step over that ant pile. It looked like a second swirl was right there when I brought it up. Look, there's a freaking, oh, they're right here. Because sometimes it's the disturbance and the irritation. There's a lot of bass that'll hit this in the, in the morning, but then at that, pond I always throw the frog at, they won't go for the buzz bait. They just want like little subtle pops, you know, they know. I don't think they want the buzz bait to be quite honest. I haven't got, but that potential single hit when I first got here. So, I'm gonna let Bryce use the uh, scorpion for this morning. So, before I untie the bandito bug, let me toss him out here. The bandito bug! Come on, baby. Oh, he's healthy. <laughs> Literally, I was I was dazed and confused, dude. Bryce just asked me if I was throwing a jig, and I was about to say the bandito bug, and as soon as I as soon as I even thought about it, this guy hit. He hit like a freight train. <laughs> I don't care what you say, I'm calling it two pounds, 1.96. Not a bad way to start the day. I was feeling kind of bad too, because I'm like, dude, we haven't gotten any bites out here, and here I am telling Bryce we got a good spot. <laughs> but you know how it goes sometimes. Just took the uh, bandito bug. Retying the Texas rig. Put on the weight peg first. That's this little guy right here that you can probably barely see. That way, whenever you've got it all rigged up, you can keep your weight pegged right next to the hook. And then I'm gonna tie the Palomar knot. Three pounds, probably. Dude, Bryce just missed a good one right there. It's, it's time though, look at that fresh, black and blue. Whoo, bandito bug. Gotta rip these appendages off and we're gonna throw him in. Let's get him rigged. All right, put the weight down. Drop the peg down. One of the reasons I like pegging the weight is uh, specifically in ponds like this where there is a lot of weeds and whatnot, it seems like you catch less crap whenever the weight's pegged up against it. Put stuff away before I lose everything. I think we're gonna switch locations. We just got that one over here, man. It's been kind of uh, off today. So we're gonna try either Vial Lake over off of Main Street, what is it, El Dorado? El Dorado, I think. I think I said we were going to Vial Lake, but we ended up coming to Savannah. We decided against it, so let's get to work. All right, I better run. He said we're still good for 10, so. Are you gonna be fishing all day? Uh, yeah, my buddy just hit me, I'm about to go to Oak Point. Okay, dope. Well, I'll just meet you afterwards and I'll grab this. Okay. Yeah, cause you gotta catch something on it. <laughs> you better have caught something by the time I meet you. And then I'll come fish Oak Point or something. After we left Savannah earlier, I went and had some lunch, met up with a buddy and did some filming for him Whew, around his new fitness and apparel brand. And now I am back on the hunt for these bass. Bryce and a buddy are back here at this one pond we know about. And there seems to be some bites happening. So let me get in there. Let's go try the pond at the front of the neighborhood. There's all those trees, that little fountain. There's probably some bass in there. We gonna feed them, boys. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, dude, they're going haywire. Fish food. Oh, almost got them. They're like flocking. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, it feels like I've fished every pond in DFW today, but we're gonna give one more shot. We're gonna go for the topwater frog this evening. It's about a half an hour before sunset, kind of cloudy, storms rolling in, and Devin and I are out here. Got a little mud on the tires. I haven't been out to this pond in a long time, so we're gonna see what happens. There's a lot of mosquitoes, that's for sure. Maybe that means the bite is on. It's never been this full. How are we gonna release them? Was that a, was that a fish? Oh! Oh, I guess so. You got, no way. On the bandito bug, nice. That's your first catch on it. Dead gummit. Sweet. Damn, they're dark over here. Oh, perfect. Oh, she got it. Oh no. Dang, I saw him. Well, this used to be the frog pond, now it's the Bottom fishing pond. Is my line swimming? Yeah. Uh, I'm like, was it? it looked like it was moving. Like I think something had it. Oh. Got him. <laughs> oh, perfect. And we tied on this leader knot earlier. So we've got 15 pound fluorocarbon attached to the 30 pound braid. Uh, just to maybe make the Guggen baits a little more stealth-like. Mosquitoes are getting the best of us. It is crazy, but we both got a catch. She actually had two. That second one came off the hook. And uh, we can say we had a good day. Oh, damn, he was taking it. He ripped that thing through the hook. Oh, my gosh. I was popping them and moving them just a little faster that time. I think that's kind of like the, the key was just a little bit more motion. So let me try and get right in that same area. Right about here we had the bite. Oh, oh. Fa Same thing. Two in a row, two in a row. Kidding. All right, that's all we can do. It's too much. We'll be back with the bug spray and the hoodie jackets. Until then. Peace out, y'all. Fun day fishing.